guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, as requested, I'm going to show you guys how to create backpacks. Um, the whole idea for a backpack is it's basically a second inventory that you can access by using a command, and uh, it will, of course, be persistent, so it will save and load through reloads. Um, now in this one we're just going to have it so you can run a command to use your backpack. Uh, you could change it based on where you're using this to make it so you have to use a specific sign or you know something in order to access the backpack or have some sort of an item uh, to make it harder to access the backpack and uh, you know however you want to do it but we're gonna write it so that it will actually have a backpack with saving and loading. Now Without the saving and loading, it's pretty easy because all you would have to do is store each player's uh, backpack, which is just creating an inventory when they join. But if you want to save and load, uh, then you need to add a bit of extra code. So that's what we're going to do today so that it will work through reloads. So the first thing that we're going to do, uh, first of all, I already have this uh, class set up. I have the join method, or the join event, the quit event, we're going to need both of these. Uh, on enable just registers the events, we're going to need on disable. And then I just have an on command um, for the backpack command. And I of course want to make sure that this is a player who is running it because the console uh, cannot have an inventory. So, that is good. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a private hash map of UUID and inventory which we'll call backpacks and we'll make it equal to a new hash map of type UUID and inventory so what we're doing here is we are keeping a hash map which will contain the um, unique identifier um, of the player because uh, rather than use an instance of player or store the player's name, we'll store the UUID uh, because it would make sense to do this in backpacks since it saves through reloads and you'd obviously not want to change your name and then find out that you've lost all of your items that are in your backpack. So we're storing it with the UUID and then the inventory, which is the backpack. So the first thing we're going to do is the player join event. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to first create a new inventory, then we're going to check to see if they already have some items saved. If they do, then we'll load in all of the items that they have saved, uh, and then finally we'll just put that inventory into the hash map. So it'll start out as empty, so they could have an empty inventory, or if they already have stuff, we'll load everything in. But actually before we do that, we need to go ahead and write two methods. The first method will um, take a strip, well, we'll take in a configuration section um, and an item stack and it will save that item stack to the configuration section second one will take in a configuration section and return an item stack from that and this will make a little bit more sense in a minute first let's go ahead and write our um, private void save item and we need first a configuration section which we'll call section and an item stack which we'll call item stack uh, so, what we're going to do here is we're going to say section.set type, if I could spell type correctly, type to be um, item stack dot get type dot name. You need to make sure that you have that name. You can't just do item stack dot get type. Uh, then you also want to set um, amount, not a amount to uh, item stack dot get amount and then of course you'd want to save more information it's so like if they have a name on the item or lore on the item or if the item of course has enchantments that would be very important you would want to save all of that information as well but um, I'm not going to take the time to do it because you guys know how to do it um, so next we're going to have a private item stack uh, we'll just call this load item. Uh, let's take a configuration section called section. And we're just going to say return new item stack. 
material dot value of section dot get string type and then outside of that we're gonna say comma section dot get int amount so what we're doing here is we're saving the type so like if I had some diamonds then the type would be um, diamond so then we get the value of for diamond and that will basically return it'll take in diamond the string and then return an instance of this material enumerator. It's not terribly important. And then of course the amount. Uh, now you would want to load more information. So if you had like name or lore or enchantments, you would want to load them all in and apply them to the item. But for now, this will get the job done. Uh, all right, so let's go back up to our player join event where we're going to actually do everything. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say inventory in is equal to bucket dot get server dot create inventory. The inventory holder is going to be e dot get player because it's their inventory. Um, inventory type dot chest. That will be the type of the inventory, and then I believe we can also give it a name, um, which we will call backpack. Why does this not work? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we're creating an inventory. The holder of the inventory is the person you just joined, obviously. The type is going to be a chest, and it will be named backpack. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if they actually already have items saved, and if they do, then we're going to load them all in. So if get config dot contains backpacks dot e dot get player dot get unique ID, because remember we're saving and loading with the unique ID. Um, okay, so if it does contain this section, uh, then we're going to say for uh, string item in, and we're just going to copy that, we're going to say get config dot get configuration section backpacks dot unique ID, whatever dot get keys false we don't want to do like a deep search we just want the basic keys so the way that this is going to be saved and I'll show it to you is um, it's going to have uh, backpacks then the unique ID of the player then it'll just have letters like a b c d e f g and then under each of the letters it's going to have uh, all of this information right here so type and amount so what we're doing is we're going through all of the different keys down there. So this will go through like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and say inv.addItem, load item, and load item will take in the configuration section. So it'll be this. But we want to make sure, so after the unique ID, we want to do dot item. So now it would be backpacks.uniqueid.a, and then it would add the item located there. So that just uh, loads in all of the items. Finally, we need to, of course, do backpacks.put e.getplayer.getuniqueid, and then the value will, of course, be in. So now when I join, it will create a backpack for me. If I already have some items saved, it will load them all into the inventory. Then finally, it'll put it into that hash map uh, that contains all of the inventories. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have the player leave. When the player leaves, we're going to um, have it... <clears throat> excuse me. When the player leaves, we're going to have it save all of the items from their backpack. And we know that they're going to have a backpack because when they join, uh, they will be given their backpack or it will be loaded into the hash map. So uh, the first thing we want to do right here is we want to say, um, first we want to make sure that <clears throat> the configuration section does exist. So if it does not contain backpacks.e.getplayer.getuniqueid <clears throat> So if it does not contain this section, then we want to uh, create it. Get config dot create section backpacks dot e dot get player dot get unique id. <clears throat> Good. Now we're going to go ahead and declare char c is equal to a, and I'll show you why we're doing that in a second. Now we're going to say for item stack um, 
item stack in backpacks dot get e dot get player <coughs> excuse me dot get unique ID so we're going through all of the items that are contained within their uh, their backpack and we're going to say if item stack is not equal to null so if it's not a null item stack then we're going to say save item stack and the configuration uh, section thing is going to be get config dot create section whoops backpacks dot e dot get player dot get unique id dot and then c plus uh, plus and then the item is going to be of course item stack so we're saving the item there and what is wrong with this Uh, oh, because it's called save item, not save item stack, sorry. Okay, so now we're just going ahead and saving all of the items. And then finally, a very important thing is that you, of course, need to call save config. Uh, now, the reason why we're doing this char c is equal to a thing and then the c++ that we have right here, what this will do is the first time this loop runs, c will be a. Uh, but if it saves an item in A and it calls C++, it'll go to the next character, which is B, because you can actually do this on characters. So then if I have, you know, if I have five items, it'll be A, B, C, D, E, and it will have the five items that you need to have for the letter. So it's just a little bit easier to handle it that way to have uh, like this. Alright, so that's good for there. Now let's go ahead and... So on disable is going to work pretty much the same as leave, um, but we're just going to go through all of the players that uh, we have and we're going to save it there. Uh, so that if uh, there's a disable, then it will save everything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and say for here, we're going to go through... I'm going to copy this first. And we're going to say for entry um, UUID inventory entry in backpacks.entry set. So an entry just basically um, it's just so like when you have a map and it has a key and a value, an entry is just one key and value set. And you'll see that entry uh, contains just methods get key and get value so it's just just a little bit easier so we're going through each entry in there and then for each entry we can get the UUID and the inventory that's associated with the UUID easily so that's how we're going to do that uh, so now let's go ahead and we're just gonna do pretty much the exact same thing but we're gonna replace e.getplayer.getuniqueid with entry.getkey so let's do that first entry.getkey and then we're going to replace backpacks.get this part. We're just going to replace with entry.get value. And then we're going to say here, um, entry.get key. And then that should be good. We're doing pretty much the same thing right there. And the last thing we have to do is we just have to say p.open inventory backpacks.get for p.get unique id. So if I run the backpack command then it'll open up the um, inventory or the backpack that's associated with my unique id. Um, I believe that should be in should work pretty well. Um, I already have the plugin.yml defined whoops with the uh, command the backpack command. So let's go ahead and export this and we'll start up the server. In the meantime, let me go quickly grab YouTube, um, the backpack folder, so I can show you once we try this out, I can show you the uh, way that it saves. Okay, so now we are in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of items. Let's just get some uh, diamond, gold, or gold bar. Okay, and um, 
iron ingot, I think they're called. Yeah. Okay, so now I have um, three different items, gold, uh, or diamond, gold, and iron. So first of all, I'm going to call, or I'm going to use the backpack command, and you'll see that it opens up this uh, chest, and I'll go ahead and place in my three items. Now, first of all, if I call backpack again, it will obviously work, uh, but that's not terribly impressive. The impressive part is going to be uh, saving and loading between reloads. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close. Now, when I quit, it would call that player quit, and it's going to save everything. So let's take a look at the config. As you can see, we have backpacks. Then we have, that's, I guess, my unique ID. And then we have the items A, B, and C. Those are the three items that we have. And each one has the type and the amount. So the first one is uh, diamond and 64, gold ingot and 64, iron ingot and 64. Uh, so it did save it in the way that we wanted it to save. So now let's go ahead and reload. So now that hash map of um, UUID and inventory was cleared, which means that when the player now joins, it has to load everything. And if I do backpack, then you'll notice that everything is back, which clearly means uh, that it saves correctly, which I showed you. And then also, I reloaded it, and I um, and it loaded all of my items back into the inventory successfully. Uh, so that's all for this video. It's just like a backpack plugin that allows you to have a second inventory uh, that you can access via a command, and it does save through reloads, which is... Of course, um, very important because rarely would you want to have an inventory that does not save through reloads unless you had maybe some sort of a uh, mini game. Uh, Alright, so as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, coding videos. Bye, guys.